Hi, this is Nav. Today we will see normalization and scaling, also called as norm and scale in TI portal. Now let's create a project. Now already I created a project in the TI portal. To know how to create a project in TI portal, please look into my previous videos in this channel. So first uh, we will drag the blocks onto the rungs. So click on this empty box and drag onto the rung. Once again, take one more block onto this rung. Sorry, the same rung. You can delete this extra branch. Now click on this first block and type now. So you can see here the norm X. So this is a normalization where normalization is generally used to convert the any given data from minimum to maximum. It will convert into 0 to 1 in float values. Whereas on the other side we use a scale. This scale X will convert the given value in the range of 0 to 1 into the required range. Now I'll show you how to convert the data. So now first I would like to use the data between the range from 0 to let us say some 1000. Now this uh, in the data type is integer and uh, I would like to provide a memory let us say mb0. MB stands for memory byte. On the other side, uh, I'll use one more register. Uh, so hence it is in a float. So I'll use double memory double. So 10. And the output is not an integer. It is in a real. So change the data type to real. Uh, let me extend the window. So here again, uh, the same value I'm going to take. So that is MD10 memory double. So this 0 to 1000 uh, will be converted to 0 to 1 range and the data will be in the MD10. And uh, this 0 to 1 will be again converted back to the required range that we need to specify over here. So I would like to convert uh, to 0 or let us say 4 to 20. So now the data from the input data from 0 to 1000 will be converted to 4 to 20. Okay. Now this converted data will be stored on this output side. So here we need to specify register. Uh, so I'll be using MB20. And also we need to specify the data type. So here it's a real and the uh, integer, right? So this is a simple program uh, to convert uh, the data using norm and scale. So let's check for the errors. So compile the program. So here you can see there is no errors in this program and now select the project let's dump into the PLC uh, here I will show you in the PLC simulation later I'll show you in the real time so for PLC simulation simply click on start simulation so a box will be opened it is asking you to download the project so let's load the project say no action start the model finish so see to that it's turned into greens in run mode minimize this window and uh, click on this monitor option to run the program 
yeah it's ready now and you can see here the data uh, it is in a hexadecimal representation you can change the representation just by right click uh, here you can see display format and uh, you can change it to decimal where we are can similarly you can convert here also on the output side change the display format tag to decimal so as you can see there is no input so by default uh, the value is 0 and this 0 is converted to 4 because the minimum is 4 okay say suppose if I give a value that is uh, the 500 see check to decimal 500 sorry okay uh, oh sorry uh, the data is uh, okay beyond the range okay let's change this data type to MD 10 or MD 0 similarly the output MD 20 because uh, the size will be more once again save the project once again load or simply you can right click and you can say download software changes only click on load let's it's done okay so now if I enter the data 500 okay so you can see it's 12 so almost half of the, the range 12 similarly if suppose if I enter the maximum full range that is 1000 then I'll get the output as 20 okay so in this way you can convert whatever the range or whatever the value of the data you have you can convert into the required range by using this norm and scale and now let me show you in real time so here I have created a project in the TI portal and uh, this time I'm going to load this into the hardware that is PLC 1215 so I'm loading the project into the PLC so just click on load now your project will be loaded into the PLC now click on monitor option now you can see the input address change that is IW64 it means I'm going to read from the analog input channel where my analog input is a voltage module and again you can see the format is in hexadecimal so I'm going to change to the decimal again output change the format to decimal so here uh, now the, the voltage the input module is a voltage with a range 0 to 10 so now if I in apply an input voltage across the input channel or input module you can see the data at IW64 which has a range of 0 to 27648 and this raw data will be converted to 0 to 10 as you can see as I increase the voltage you can see the output scaled output I'm going to the maximum full scale that's up to 10 volts so for 10 volts it's uh, 2774 approximately again if I reduce the voltage supply to the input module as you can see the real-time data and the scaled output almost it maps thank you for watching